Hello everyone. On this video, I want to talk about the grid, CSS grid with Bricks Builder. I think it is very easy to use it and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it easily. There are more than one way to implement the grid uh, containers in the Bricks. So I think this pen method will be the easiest way. This is how I build this page. And let's do it again or something similar. Let's create a page. Let's call it grid three. Okay, let's edit with bricks. Okay, let's add a section with container. Give it a little bit spacing from the top and add bunch of blocks. Doesn't matter how many, we, we can adjust this later easily. So, and all of the sections, containers, or blocks comes flex ready, okay? In default, it, it comes display flex. So, except the div, the div, the div comes as a display block. But we can change all of them to grid, okay? Keep it in mind. We, we can change all of them as a grid. And as you can see, these blocks inheriting the display flex. When I change the container to grid, the grid features comes up and the block will inherit the display grid. This grid item features comes up automatically. Okay, because they are under the grid container. Okay. So first let's create the fractions and I think I should show this page a little bit. If you guys want to learn the grid system deeply, I will definitely recommend the Mozilla page because there are lots of uh, examples and ex explanation about the CSS grid. <clears throat> I think you guys should understand this concept first and then start practicing with it, okay? Just practice, practice, and in time you will get it easily. Okay, so first let's divide to fractions so we can divide it like that fractions three fraction and it will divide it to three columns okay this can be pixel to or percentage or whatever like any unit we can use here it can be like two 200 pixel one fr one fr something like that too like let's say left side is has to be 200 pixel width maximum and other ones can take the width automatically you can build it something like that too okay keep it in mind but for this video i will just stick with the fractions because it is easier to understand like easier to see let's make four to four 16 let's divide the 16 grid just because we have 16 cells we don't have to use them like we don't have to have like 16 block okay we are just dividing but we can use this any parts we want like we, we will expand our blocks and let's give a little bit gap so it is much more like easy to see great now we have 16 cells four by four okay and First, let's say, mm, I'm going to give colors to our blocks. Let's just, let's just background light gray. Yeah. Okay. So our blocks has color. So when you don't expand our blocks, they will just take one fraction automatically. Okay. So it could be like 200 pixels. If it was like 200 pixels, it will just it, it will just take the cells automatically. That's what I want to say. Yeah, it will take the cells automatically, in order. Okay, but there is a way to expand our blocks. We are four by four bar, right? Remember. Let's say I want to make this one, two, three, not two. Because when you are counting the grids, one, two, three, 
four, five. Okay, there are, and you want to slice it. Yes, you need to slice the four, four. But when you want to expand the inside block, you need to count one, two, three. That's why I need to give three, because it is, it's not like zero. First position is not zero. First position is one. Second, second column position, two, and three. Okay, these these lines. I'm counting these lines. Okay, actually it is visible on the Chrome browser. Press F. Uh, 12 or inspect yeah see now we can see it much more easily on the front end it shows the how many is divided and when you click on one of the blocks actually this is a this is a start and end position okay one is start three is end okay so let's go back to editor this is the hard way okay why it is hard like because we have to make our calculations we have to do do it ourselves but why we don't need it like it, 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 it that's stupid like making mathematics for making css script that's dumb easy way is span two see it is much 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 easier than one to three because it is not even because we are not expanding to three actually we are expanding to two yeah because it is taking two cell yeah it is taking two cell to fill that's why semantically this span shortcut is much easier to understand. Let's make it two, two. And uh, let's make this only like that. Let's make this span two. See, see how easy it is, see? Let's make this one span two. Oops, and two, great. And let's make the last one span two. And now we fill the all the four by four. Great. Now this is our grid. Okay, this is our grid. See how easy it is? Crazy, yeah. It is very simple when you when you do it like this. When you when you try to like calculate, oh I need to like make one divide five, whatever. This that's just wasting time. Don't even try to do those calculations. And you don't need it. Just make it make use the span, okay? Much simple. And this is how we use bricks, uh, grids with bricks. And it is really easy. Just use fractions and just use span two or span x n. Okay. Very easy. Very easy. But of course, you need responsive. When we do it like this, the, this grid will stay <laughs> with even in the smallest size. So we don't want that like if there is a content it will it wouldn't be visible like, yeah it would be hard to re read or see the image that's why we need responsive and for that i think the tab tablet size is fine but after the tablet size we should go back to one fr instead of dividing to four we should divide it to just two okay this is dividing to two to columns and after that we will need to make this span one okay i think span one is way to go for all of them span two no yeah, yeah actually okay span two span one span two i mean depending on the content if there is an image span two needed like for height but if not, even span one is okay uh, because the content will take the height automatically. Let's give it a bit content on this one. Okay. See, great, great, great. See, see, it is. It will just take the space automatically, so it's fine. 
Let's give it a little spacing left, right. Wait, there we go. Great. So, so it depends on the content for the span span height. Okay, span span row. This will depend on the content. Keep it in mind. So let's make it like that. Span one. Let's make all of them span one. Easy. Span one. Span one. Span one. Span one. And span one. Okay. Now we divide it to two. For the mobile view, you will just need to say like we can just change the fraction to one fraction. So it will take the full 100% of the width. That's it. I think this is this is the only thing you need to do. And the height will be taken automatically. Like I said, like if I want to let's copy that, paste it. Let's make it height more, more, more. Of course, this second one will take the first one's height because uh, they are inheriting like aligning each other a little bit for that we need to just make uh, I mean we can give span one fr if I make it yeah we just need to make one fr that actually does it automatically yeah automatic works too see like it, it, it depends on the situation actually we can't even give like automatic we, because on the mobile size we don't need to give like uh, divide the rows for the mobile because we are stacking them yeah that's it yeah this is the responsive tablet and yeah of the tablet it divides fraction two and after that only one fraction and we are just stacking all of them top of each other and of course you can change the let's say on the mobile you want this block to be the first block yeah that's very easy let's say you will be one okay let's go to the responsive go here and order one and this will be the where are you order zero what minus one yeah this will be the first block even though it, it's in the like structure like fifth or something <laughs> we can change the order like that easily okay so you can do do the responsive very simply that's it. I think this will give some idea how the CSS grid works with the Bricks Builder. If you got any questions, please do ask on the comments. See you guys on the next video.